Yo, Vaisu here. Today we take a look at one of my favorite ways to play heavy bowgun, Frostcraft Clutch Claw. For the gear, we are running 4 piece Arch Tempered Volcana to gain our main damage increase in Frostcraft and 1 piece Frostfang Barrier for the 1 piece set bonus punishing draw. The Challenger Charm is our Talisman of choice. The weapon is the Fatalis Heavy Bowgun. Important here is that the weapon of choice has Vibrant Snipe as special ammo. This is because Vibrant Snipe is one big hit and counts as a draw attack, which activates Punishing Draw and Critical Draw. The augments on the weapon are 1 health regen and 1 attack increase. The custom mods are 4 close range and 1 power barrel. Vibrant Snipe Type 2 or Special Scope will not increase the damage of your Clutch Claw attack, but Power Barrel does increase the KO capabilities. We don't need as much affinity, because of Critical Draw we get 100% extra affinity, 1 point of Weakness Exploit and we can crit all the time. Attack Boost, Agitator, Critical Boost, Health Boost and Peak Performance are the core skills. Sleep attack is a very good option to quickly sleep a monster and perform a wake up attack for double damage. We also have a lot of slots open, so we have the option to go for 2 specialists, slugger or other skills depending on what monster we fight. How it works is pretty simple. You either have rocksteady or tempora mantle, then you clutch claw onto the monster and perform a tenderizing attack. Because of how this tenderizing attack works, Punishing Draw and Critical Draw will activate. Punishing Draw will give us a little bit more KO damage. So if we target the head very frequently, it could happen that we get a KO. And as you see on the trading dummy, we deal over 900 damage, close to 1000 damage per hit. And that is without any buffs, without food skills. So choosing the right monster and the right part to clutch onto, you get over 1000 damage per hit. With that said, let's go into some hunts and see how this build performs. Hello Hunters! We are excited to announce our partnership with TomTalk and their Monster Hunter Sunbreak Royal Order Collection. They have graciously sent us samples from this collection and we are so happy that we got to share some of them with our community. It is such a privilege partnering with a company that makes quality products with elegant design like TomTalk. Get your Royal Order bags using the link in the description box. Thanks again to TomTalk and thanks to everyone supporting us. Alrighty. Our first target will be a normal Udo Garen. A little bit of a drunk bird right here, but no worries. I did modify the build a little bit. For Udo Garen, I went with Slugger Free and a little bit of Bleed Resistance just to keep my peak performance up all the time. I don't want to get bleed and then have to deal with the constant drain. And do a quick ball. Uh, excuse me? No wall bank for me. Okay, all right then. Oh, do we, then we just start with the, with the boom. No worries. Oh, he's gonna run away, right? Yeah, he wants to. Alright, I'm gonna go to the head. And boom. 805. Why he's not enraged? That's not bad. I'll take that. I'll be careful of the vest point right there. Don't get don't wanna get paralyzed. He should be enraged. Yeah, there we go. Agitator active, 968. Well, some good numbers right there. We're gonna go for more. And boom. Okay. I'm not sure how much sleep I, uh, I have to shoot into him. To get the sleep proc. But... I might be able to do it now while the rock steady is running out. Ouch. Well, maybe one more. Ah, there it is. 
Okay, now we wait a little bit until he falls asleep. And this should be a nice wake up. 1600 into the KO. I like to see that one. Another 800, we're gonna switch to Temporal. Now he's not enriched anymore, which is a little bit sad. And I do not know if there were any Slinger pots nearby. Well, we just keep up the damage. Maybe it's gonna be enraged now. That could be. Oh no, he's exhausted actually. Okay. Gonna take this. Oh, there is a pot. We have pots. Maybe I can get another sleep. Four, five. Reload. Oh, no sleep. Okay. Not enough. I should have brought maybe a little bit of combining materials. It's gonna make him angry with that. Get the wall bang. And back to business. He will scream now and I do not have any means to counter or wait that, so I'll just take that one. No, he, he wants to eat his meat. I see his goal. Oh, he's running away. Oh, he's limping away. Oh, I thought I can get one more. That was sad. But now, since he will go sleep, I can put a wire on fire in him. Not a wire on fire, wire on ammo. For a nice clean wake up. And then we should be able to cover this hunt relatively quickly. There we go. Oh, come on. Yeah, there you go. A little bit too far away right there. Good 800 damage. Not enraged. Might as well do a ball bang. If that hits. Oh, he's just running through. Now we have a little bit of a problem. Oh, he wants to eat his meat. He's going. We don't let him. There we go. That was very fast. I did not expect that much damage in that short amount of time. But we did get a nice wake up with the sleep ammo. We did get the Wyman ammo. Wake up at the end. Very nice. I like it. Next up, we have something more difficult, which is Gold Raffian. Gold Raffian will always spawn in the area where Nergigant normally sleeps. But since there is no Slinger ammo on the way, I always start area 8 in the camp, pick up the Bright Moss. And then make my way there. Alternatively, you can start in camp 16. And go to the area before this area back there and pick up the stones. Both ways work. I find the area 8, the camp 8 start a little bit more comfy. But you can use stones as well. Alright, so... What are we doing? We're gonna shoot on the ground. Gonna do a little bit of that. I uh, got on the wrong side. No spikes. Okay, no spikes. There we go. Now we're gonna go on the head. For Gold Raffian, I did put in two uh, points of Blight Resistance. Because she's doing a lot of fire attacks and I have Coalescence Level 3. I want to cure the fire blight as fast as possible and get the plus 18 raw attack. I got on the wing. That's really what I wanted. So the goal right here is to break the head as fast as possible. To get to the good hit zone value gold Raffian has. And there we go. That was easy. And if we are lucky, we also get some dunks. But now, yeah, our damage skyrockets a lot. 1026 without peak performance. And there's a dunk. 1000 
72. Now that's a lot of damage. I do wonder what a wake up hit would deal. Probably way more. <laughs> there we go. Take the clagger. Rocksteady is about to run out, so we're gonna switch to Tom Paul in a little bit. Maybe one more. Oh, and another dunk. Sadly, I'm on the wrong side, so a little bit of trickery right here. We should be able to get a KO. Ah, and there's the Fire Blight, which is good for us. So now I should be able to do even more damage. Alright, now let's see. With Coalescence, with peak performance, how much do we deal? <laughs> 1113. That is crazy. It is a lot. And the dunk? Ah, I hit the, the wing for some reason. Unfortunate. Uh, another Clagger. I don't have to sheath for this one. And boom. Okay, time to sleep her. Oh, she's now entering her... Her super mode. Still wanna get that sleep. Wait a little bit. Okay, let's see the wake up damage. 1700. That's not bad. Ah, the scream. Why right, I do not have rock steady or anything to counter. Are you gonna go up into the sky? Oh, we got the... Uh, the throat flinch. I got on the wing. Not that good. Okay, Clagger. Can I reach that? Oh, I can. Okay, now we don't have the temple anymore. Maybe I can get another sleep? I do have sleep attack 4 and 8, spe eight for specialist. So maybe we do get another sleep. This is gonna be fireballs. Into tail flip. Okay, we did get another sleep. Let's see. And boom. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. We did not get a KO, sadly, but I take that one. That was a lot of damage to a gold ruffian. Peak damage 1113. Wow. Ridiculous. And lastly, we're gonna go for a Rage and Brocadillos. This one is a little bit different. We're gonna go and hit the tail, which is the best shot hits on value on Raging. On top of that, I did modify my build a little bit. I do run 3 points of 2 specialists with 2 points of blast resistance in the armor and 1 additional point in the mantle. Like I said, we're gonna go hit the tail. The two specialists is there because this hunt will last a little bit longer. I do have our trusty sleep ammo. So with a good precise sleep, we can do a big wake up. We're gonna get the second wall thing right here. There we go. And now we're gonna commence mayhem. We get 842. Without Agitator, without Enrage Multiplier. Gonna wait a little bit just for Agitator to kick in. Ah, it kicked in too late. But that's okay. Just gonna focus on the tail. There's no need for Slugger right now on him. I did hit the leg for some reason. Let's see. And... Ah, 885 again. Hopefully we can get one with peak performance. 924. Okay, that's that that's very respectable. I will take that. 
Okay, Clagger right there. Nope. Come on, Clutch Claw. There we go. Thank you. This should give me another... Oh, a, a, a flinch. Okay, so after two shots, I'm gonna get something. Which means... If I do two more shots, I should get a Clagger. Fireblight is really good for us right now. Because of our coalescence that we get from our helmet. Oh no, my mantle ran out. Ah. Unfortunate timing. Ah, this is pretty good. Pretty good attack for me. There we go. Get the Clagger. Now let's see, with Coalescence, 960. That is by no means bad. Gonna get a flinch, maybe? Oh, I hit the leg again. Which is... Not that... Oh, he's going for the special attack that you barely ever see. We're gonna keep focus on the tail. There we go, that's a flinch. Okay, two more and we should get another Clagger then. If my counting is correct. Not the leg, not the leg. Good. Okay, hopefully I don't hit the leg with that. Perfect. I'm a little bit too far away. Uh, hopefully I can reach. Ah, uh, I was not in time. But the attack was good for me. Okay, he's going to bail. Which, well, I can I can respect that. But we're gonna get a flinch. Perfect. Oh, he's taunting. That is very good. Can get one more hit. So now he does jump down, which means that if I do it correctly... Ah, I fucked it up. I thought I could maybe clutch claw onto the tail while he's jumping to the next one. Are we just gonna wait here and then we're gonna run the tail? We should get a clagger? Aha, uh -huh. calculations. Everything according to Keikaku. There is no mistakes. Oh, I got that one. Perfect. Now we're gonna do one more. Flinch. He is enraged. Nice dodge on the draw. Now the question is, did we deal enough damage for him to go into the last area immediately now? With all those extra... Oh, we did! Perfect. Perfect. Uh, I might just pick up some rocks in case we do need a wall bang. Now, the only thing right now is that I do not have any mantles. So, for a little bit, we have to cope with maybe sleep ammo. Maybe we can get a good wake up hit on him. And after the sleep, a wall bang, maybe that's, that is enough time to give us the rock steady mantle back. I did eat for specialist. Five shots, all right. Let me go on the tail. Wait a little bit. And there we go. 1,600. Respectable damage. For wake up hit on the Raging Brachadiers, I take that. Now the question will be, how many shots do I need? Two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Now I do have to combine manually now because I did forget to put my uh, put my uh, sleep one on on the radial menu, but that should be fine. We just keep shooting. Okay, there it is. There's sleep. Quickly grab the bomb pots and then grab him. Now Rocksteady should be nearly up. That worked perfectly fine. And we're gonna do another wall bang. Reminder guys, after each sleep you can always do at least one wall bang. Keep that in mind. And with Rocksteady 
on my head. We're gonna continue our slaughter. He's gonna go enraged. Now let's see. Okay, we didn't get anything, so that means that if I do one more, we should get something now. What do we get? Get a clagger. Alright. Now that works. Hopefully I'm in time. I am. I'm just gonna jump on the tail. Don't wanna jump off again. Oh! And there we go. That was a, that was a very, very mundane area free, I have to say. Not much trouble at all. Frostcraft clutch the heavy bowgun, putting in work. Looks like seven minutes. I take that on a raging bracadillos. And that's it. Those are all the hunts I have for you for today. I hope you had fun watching the video and you find the build as interesting as I do. If you have any build suggestion, make sure to comment it down below. Give the video a like and consider subscribing if you enjoy the content and want to see more. With that said, Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.